But Lewis's trick here is to discard all of the cases where you die because, and I quote, death is oblivion. The experience of being dead should never be expected to any degree at all because there is no such experience. This act of discarding branches where you die and then renormalizing is what Lewis calls the corrected intensity rule, and it is pivotal to the case for quantum immortality. But many thinkers take issue with this sleight of hand. For example, philosopher David Papineau writes, It is by no means obvious why Everettian should modify their intensity rule in this way. For it seems perfectly open for them to apply the unmodified intensity rule in life or death situations, just as elsewhere. Many world champion David Deutsch also pushes back here, writing in his book that this way of applying probabilities does not follow directly from quantum theory as the usual one does. It requires an additional assumption, namely that when making decisions, one should ignore the histories in which the decision maker is absent. My guess is that this assumption is false. In other words, when the universe makes it split, there's by no means a guarantee that you will take the path in which you survive. I didn't think it would end this way. End? Oh, the journey doesn't end here.